Put your hands together right now for Tom Kearney. Thank you very much. Wow, this is great. Thanks for having me. Wow, yeah. Well, uh, yeah, I had a big week, big week. Uh, my wife and I, we had our 25th wedding anniversary. I know, 25 years. Can you believe it? That's a huge thing, and I'm totally shocked by it because uh, I can't believe she's put up with me for so long. Uh, and plus, when she finds out there's no trust fund, it's all over, so I'm trying to live it up. <laughs> no, seriously, she's going to be pissed. She's really going to be pissed. She's, when she finds out my entire state consists of like a skateboard and five Hawaiian shirts, uh, she's not, she's not going to like that. Um, yeah, but, but this last year, this last couple years have been pretty rough. I think it's been rough on everybody, but especially on relationships. Um, like, uh, you know, they, when they said, you know, that, 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 that couples were, we're going to have a lot of babies in this country or a lot of divorce, and they were not kidding, because we were either fighting all the time or having sex. It was like one or the other, you know? And things got really interesting um, when we kind of combined the two. <laughs> That's when things got kind of, you know, uh, freaky. Uh, but, you know, she, she puts up, a, you know, I, I could tell, you know, I mean, she, she'd be looking at me and it, with a sideways look in her, in her eye and I could see what's going on. She's like, Jesus Christ, do I have to spend the rest of my life with this guy? I'm going to stab a pencil in my neck if he says that joke one more time. And then I would, I, would get, I would get pissed off. She would get on my nerves just as much, you know. She's always telling me to, to like, take out the trash. Can you take out the trash? Are you busy? Have you, are you doing anything? Can you take out the trash? And then just, so finally I got so sick of it, I just picked her up and I carried her off to the curb. <laughs> she was uh, not amused. Not amused at all. But I, you know, I think uh, relationships was, was one thing, but I think it was tough on single people. The, anybody single out here tonight? Yeah? I mean, it was rough. You know, here's the thing. You know, you got needs, you know? What are you supposed to do on quarantine? And, and it was funny because the CDC came out with like, they were giving dating advice. They're like, we don't think you should be going on a date, but if you are gonna go on a date, have a six foot buffer between you and your date. You know, that, 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 my wife heard that, she loved the idea, so we actually started having sex like uh, in separate rooms. So uh, that was good for her. But it must have been ex incredibly, incredibly uh, awkward though, right? I mean, can, can you imagine going on a date and they were like going, oh yeah, and you're like, you look really nice, I like your hair. What? I, I said I like your hair. Oh no, I'm not wearing any underwear. <laughs> And then the CDC, they actually came out with other da uh, dating advice saying like, we really don't recommend that you go out on any dates. But if you're gonna go out on a date, you know, um, try not to have too much physical contact. You know, tr just try not to touch too much. You know, just keep it to a bare minimum. You know, j just the tip, just the tip. <laughs> It was crazy. crazy. <laughs> My wife liked that idea too. <laughs> but, but, but being on quarantine was like a trip. You really got to know somebody. I mean, we, 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 for that first month, we never saw a freaking soul, you know, for a month. And then one day, we were like sitting on the couch watching The Price is Right, and uh, there was a knock at the door. We're just like, you know, we, I go over to the door and there, there's my mom and she's standing there with a suitcase at the door and I'm like, oh mom, what's going on? What, 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 is everything all right? She goes, well, you know, Tommy, I just thought that if we have to quarantine, we should probably do it as a family. So, uh, yeah, that happened. So as soon as she comes in the door, as soon as she walks through the door, it's like, no drinking, no smoking, no doing drugs, no nudity in the house. I mean, she is not following any of our rules. <laughs> but I love my mom. I love, she's a, she's a free spirit, you know? She just cannot be contained. You know? I was gonna say, is there anybody from the DEA here tonight? No? No, good, yeah, my mom's a drug dealer. <laughs> yeah, so we grew up in San Francisco. Um, and we had this house by Golden Gate Park, right? And it had a, like this gate, right? And that's where all the hippies would line up uh, on the street. They'd all line up, and they'd give a password, and then they'd pop in the, the backyard, they'd get their lid of grass. Back then they were called lids. Lids of grass. Does anybody know what a lid is? 
what the hell is a lid? I, I still don't know. In our house, it was two handfuls. That, that was a lid. <laughs> but they get their little brass, and then they, they pop out the side gate. It was a pretty good system. But uh, it was this one weekend, uh, uh, my mom, she ran out of baggies. It was a big weekend. I think the Grateful Dead was playing in Gold Gate Park or some shit. And uh, she ran out of baggies. Her friend Nancy comes over with a case of uh, surgical gloves. And they took the grass and they stuck them in the gloves and they sold those. And that was called the five finger lid. It was very famous in the Bay Area. It was like, it was a huge success. And, and that was actually the password at the gate. Give me five, high five. That's where that came from, high five. And it was like, she was a trip, man. Was an absolute trip. So then she ran out of the gloves. It was a huge success. And then Nancy comes over with a, um, a case of uh, condoms. Right? And they, they took the grass and they stuffed them in the condoms and they sold those. And uh, yeah, it, it didn't go over as well. Um, I never really understood that, you know, because you, you could smoke the bejesus out of yourself and then practice safe sex. It was a win-win, really, you know? But, but here's the thing. Nobody was practicing safe sex back then, you know? It was like free loving, man. It was like free sex. Safe sex back then would be like, I, I, it'd be like, I don't know, not having sex in a moving vehicle. That, that, would, that would be safe sex. Yeah. That would be safer sex. Anyway. Hey, you guys, thanks a lot for coming out and supporting comedy. I'm Tom Kearney. Have a great night.